Okay, good morning, students. So now we'll begin with our class. Today, we are going to deal with chapter eight that talks about challenges in airlines and airport operations. Can you, uh, you know, can you tell me what are the challenges that you think that the airport sector might face or even the airlines can face? Can you answer me? What do you think? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I think uh, in airline, in the airline, most challenges is uh, one of the most challenges the fuel, which costs much, a lot of much, uh, a lot of money. Very good. Yes. Also, it can be uh, the maintenance of the aircraft may can also may cost a lot of money, and also the 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 salaries of the crew members, like the captain and the flight attendant also may cost a lot of money. Very good. I'm glad to hear your voice. And uh, yes, you are bang on. And those are some of the challenges that the airlines face. Anyone else? Thank you, Rubble. Anyone else? OK, so as Rubble shared his uh, uh, answer with us. It is highly appreciated. And uh, really, some of the challenges that the airline faces uh, is, of course, fuel and the maintenance of aircraft and so on. Well, now challenges, of course, as we all know, are inevitable part of our every uh, of our everyday life or even every sphere of life. And challenges need not always be limitations, but only impediments that must be overcome. That means they are uh, they are not permanent always. They are not, uh, you know, they're not really limitations, but they are kind of only obstacles or impediments that must be overcome. Now, escalating fuel prices, as uh, Rubble said, Inconstant airline schedules due to various other factors and so on have always been posing as a hurdle in the smooth operations of aviation industry. So in this chapter, of course, we are going to delve into some regular features of the aviation industry that pose a challenge in their smooth operations. One is air traffic congestion. Now, the paucity and the scarcity of airside space and infrastructure have always been a matter of concern that leads to airport congestion. Availability of parking space, a proposed or with regards the appropriate and available gates to match the needs of the aircraft, it literally haunts the airport's operation teams while they allocate space for the several aircraft that land and take off in a day. They need to, you know, uh, you know, plan in advance, and sometimes planning doesn't it doesn't happen really in advance. So sometimes, and if uh, due, due to flight delays, again, they suffer with parking space issues. So parking space issues with regards to the exact parking space according to the size of the aircraft is again a kind of a challenge before the airport's operation team. Now, theoretically, a collaborative process is recommended to ease airport congestion. However, practically, it does, does need more than a collaborative process. That means it requires something more than a col collaborative process, which would attract multiple investments in the sector that would play a significant role in easing congestion to a plausible extent. The next challenge is allocation of funds and availability of funds. Now, apart from the revenue that is earned by the sector, additional funding in the airport infrastructure and investment, not just in its aesthetic appearance, that is the external appearance or how good it looks from the outside, but expanding the project to allocate funds for regular upgradation and expansion is always called for. The federal governments of each country should be able to invest substantially in domestic airport infrastructure as well. Next is fuel prices. And of course, this is a prominent feature or a prominent problem for that matter for, of course, the aviation sector or even the airlines. Fuel prices have always been increasing. 
but at times a big bank policy is better targeted towards the optimum utilization of resources available and that are made available. Now, politically motivated and wishful thinking should of course be avoided in devising fuel prices vis-a-vis -vis economic risks. Now, what happens is sometimes there is a lot of political interference while they are, you know, uh, developing those agendas of prices or the budgeting. When budgeting takes place at the political level, sometimes they can be politically motivated and sometimes they come up with, you know, wishful thinking of reducing the prices. But in fact, wishful thinking or political motivation should be avoided, but fuel policies should be devised vis-a-vis -vis econometrics that is as per or a propose the, the economy of a particular nation or economy of a particular country. Now, a pragmatic approach, therefore, is required to be exercised by the government or taken by the government in the area, which certainly would go a long way in curbing or avoiding or crossing over this impediment or obstacle. Next is a green dream. Of course, the environmental impact can never be forgotten. Due to the environmental impact posed by the aviation sector, the said sector should work vigorously towards a green and a healthy environment. For example, say Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport, that is in India, is considered as 100% ecologically sustainable airport as per the recent April 2022 report and is the first airport in India to have hybrid technology that only uses green energy. Yet another example is the Cochin International Airport in India, India which is way down south, which is built with a public-private partnership in India that we you know, call it as PPP, public-private partnership in India, based on sustainable business model. The airport has 12 megawatts solar photovoltaic plant that generates about 60,000 kilowatts of electricity per day, which is sufficient for daily operations of the airport. That means they depend upon solar energy uh, to the extent of 60,000 kilowatt of electricity per day, which is sufficient, 60,000, which is sufficient for daily operations of the airport. And that makes the airport carbon neutral in terms of scope two emissions. Now it has also set up eight small hydroelectric projects under the name of its subsidiary called Cial Infrastructures Limited. Further, yet another example for you is Delhi International Airport called Dial, which has been declared to be the world's fourth best airport for the several initiatives it has taken over the years towards environment protection. And it is regarded as Asia Pacific's best improved airport for the ASQ, that is air service quality by Airports Council International in the 15 to 25 million passengers category. Energy savings through improved insulation in supply air and return air ducts. Energy chillers, chilled water pipe circuits, solar water heating systems, solar light systems, and tempered cooling systems, electrically operated baggage tugs and buggies, and CNG, that is compressed natural gas fuel station, has all contributed towards reducing harmful emissions and thereby impacting the environment in you know, or Im impacting the environment in a bad way. Further, yet another example, of course, is Bangalore's International Airport in India, that is Bangalore International Airport, which possesses an eco-friendly, sustainable, and energy-efficient building design. With the aim of reducing its carbon footprint, it has installed a two megawatt solar power plant which also increases energy efficiency for all of which it has achieved platinum status for the 2022 in the APAC region that is the asia pacific region now talking about united states chicago's o'hare international airport has an aeroponic garden called o'hare urban garden and the world's largest bee apiary with over 1 million bees. 
So these are some of the efforts the international community is making to you know, develop uh, a sustainable airport with efficient services and which is environment friendly. Now in Switzerland, Zurich's airport's remarkable feature is environment conservation in the nature's conservation zone that is inserted between two runways. And I've practically seen it that they have this nature conservation zone that they have inserted between two runways. Munich's airport in Germany has installed energy saving, lighting and reinforced green landscaping. Now talking about China, Beijing's Capital International Airport has a green prefabricated building which actually looks beautiful and has achieved silver status in a pack in the category of 50 million plus passengers. So the green airports recognition run by ACI that is Asia Pacific is again an excellent initiative inspiring airports to share best practice initiatives uh, across the region and awarding or granting them recognition, thus encouraging them to perform better. The next challenge, again, that we are all aware of is terrorism and hijacking of planes. Terrorism is yet another challenge that is faced at times. And of course, we have uh, heard of uh, so many incidents of hijacking of planes and so on. So technological upgradation and improvements that help aircraft tracking and their light have been worked upon and implemented over the past few years. The next challenge is something always any airport or even the, the overall aviation sector, the airlines, speed airlines, or even the airports need to prepare themselves as something that is unforeseen challenges unforeseen challenges in the form of epidemics or pandemics, or even sometimes accidents. But concentrating on epidemics or pandemics, pandemics uh, the best example here is the most recent COVID-19 pandemic that tossed the aviation sector. And the sector is now in the process, still in the process of rising back in the economic front. Next is technological glitches. Since airport systems are predominantly run by software in modern times, and of course, they have incorporated even AI, that is artificial intelligence systems, technological and software glitches arise and they pose a major problem and impede the operation process. Next is recession. Global and or regional recession can be also an impeding factor for the aviation industry. So these are some of the eight challenges or the prominent challenges or impediments that are faced by the airport sector or the aviation industry, including, of course, aviation industry includes airport as well as airlines. And these are some of the prominent challenges that come to the fore when it comes to the smooth operations of airlines and airports. Now let's move on to chapter nine.